Welcome back to ATV, and I'm live here at Cromwell Field, where earlier today, the Trojans, former Trojans, had their opportunity to show themselves off in front of the NFL scouts and players. A lot of talk's been about Mark Sanchez, but there are many other players in the draft that can prove a commodity for any team. ATVN's Jacqueline Sai has more. You can find out more about all NFL contenders online at ATVN.org. Just click on Link Up. ESPN's Mel Kuyper is currently projecting four former Trojans to get chosen in the first round. Sanchez to Jacksonville, Cushing to Houston, Matthews to New England, and Malaluga to Baltimore. These projections current as of March 12th. Today was the last real opportunity for the Trojans to show themselves off before the draft at the end of the month. That's on April 25th and 26th in New York City. Somewhere between Los Angeles and New York City is a state that's only in the news for two reasons, horse racing and college basketball. Today, the University of Kentucky announced John Calipari as its new head coach. This is pretty heady stuff for me. But this was a dream I had since we brought our team down here, and I believe it was 1992. This decision for me was extremely hard, and, and let me address the people in Memphis, it wasn't coming here. This was easy. It was leaving Memphis. Calipari has made 11 NCAA tournament appearances in 17 years, coaching Memphis and UMass. He takes over for Bill Gillespie, who was fired after Kentucky failed to make the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1991. The Cleveland Browns wide receiver Dante Stallworth was charged with DUI manslaughter earlier today after fatally hitting and killing a pedestrian on March 14th in Miami. Stallworth is accused of hitting and killing 59-year-old Mario Reyes last month while he reportedly had a blood alcohol level of 0.12, well above the Florida legal limit of 0.08. Stallworth is expected to surrender in court tomorrow and could face a maximum sentence of 15 years. We're bored with college basketball, there's college hockey. Unfortunately, America doesn't care enough about it to give us the highlights. So in honor of hockey, let's ship it up to Boston. Whoa! Last night, Bruins up 1-0. David Krejci feeds Patrice Bergeron, who finds the big guy, Zdeno Chara, sweeping the garbage off the back porch. One more time. Tick, tack, toe. The Bruins have won four in a row. That's about it here from the guys that went pro. Back to you guys in the studio.